Do you want to mention that software that you're putting together right now? Oh, yeah, thanks. I, I didn't know I could do that. Uh, yeah, Vibitno. Yeah. It's V-I-B-I-T-N-O, Vibitno.com. And Vibitno actually will do all of the personalized, meaningful, relevant follow-up and automate that process, as well as track all these metrics and allow you to hold accountability to the process. And then for fun, we threw a CRM in on there if somebody wants a CRM. But, you know, it's the core of it is the relationship building software through helping people Especially when they have longer sales cycles, it's people who maybe a realtor, for example, you know, somebody might buy a house every seven years or whatever. Realtors are notorious for not keeping in touch with people. But, you know, this software would do that and keep those relationships alive. How is that software different from other CRMs like HubSpot and yeah. Go High Level or some other? What different that separates? I understand you coaching, adapting all those frameworks and that software kind of leveraging your yeah. whole experience. So it's, I like the idea that it's aligned with your methodologies. What separates though from other CRMs? Yeah. So that's a great question. You know, so HubSpot has its big, big benefits to HubSpot, right? Because HubSpot started as a marketing software and then they kind of leaned into the CRM division. Go high level said, hey, we'll put everything all together at one place and we'll give you everything you need for that. What's missing in the majority of these is, and especially the pandemic has really increased the need for this. Because if you think about it, everything used to be like, a lot of live events, people would get together. And then the pandemic came for two years, you know, stay in your house, wear a mask, communicate through Zoom. That's how Zoom actually, their timing was perfect, right? Because they grew to a big company during that. But what's been never, never will be missed. And what we captured that these other things don't is the personalized relationship. So what our system will do is it will collect relevant, meaningful information in our system, and it will actually weave communication pieces together that are all based on not only business return on investment, but personal return on investment, not only business factors, but personal factors. So the system will actually hold relationships together where you can send an email, but if it's not personalized and meaningful or relevant... I mean, how many times have you gotten an email that's like, you know, hey, and it goes on and it's like you're reading and it's like, this doesn't even mean anything to me. Because I mean, I got one a, a couple of months ago that was like, hey, Doug C., uh, I know your manufacturing company could use help doing X, Y, Z. And I'm like, I don't have a manufacturing company, right? So what our system will do is it will build relationships person to person. Mm -hmm. And it will build relationships like I know for, you know, you have seven children. Your youngest is two and a half and your oldest was 17, if I remember correctly, right? Yeah. So as we build a relationship, I'll get to know their names potentially. Uh, I'll get to know what their interests are. I'll get to know what your interests are. I'll get to know what the things about everything. You know, your 17 year old's getting to that place where is it he or she? Uh, Two and a half uh, or the 17? No, the 17 year old. It's uh, a he. It's a boy. He. So, you know, he might be looking for expanded education. You're going to college, you're going to university, wherever he's going, right? As I learn information like that, our system. We'll pull all of that information together. And when you get a message from us, it's going to actually literally talk about your 17 year old and the colleges he might be doing. Like, for example, I just had a conversation with somebody and their son is going to Williams and Mary's college in Virginia. Well, our system was able to take and reach out to the son and say, congratulations on going to Williams and, and Mary. Here's some information about the college. Interesting. Right. Wow. So we're building what we used to call belly to belly sales out in the real, you know, out in the world before technology. And you would keep everything down in a, you know, we would call the file of facts or whatever. You see. We, we were doing it old style, but we adapted that into the technology because anybody can provide a CRM. Yeah, love it. And especially things that we talked about throughout the show, one can see how building a relationship so it's not just a transaction or just business, making it more personalized and not just personalized, it's also personal <laughs> that you, again, nurturing, you're not targeting everybody. If one might no. think, I don't have time to collect all this data or put all this data, you're leveraging technology to dig up some stuff. But in addition, you doing it only for the pool of people that you cherry picked avatars, expand Correct. on those. So at long term, it will produce the, the fruits. Wow. Cool stuff. Cool stuff, Doug. Doug, we can talk forever. I, I love these topics, but we're getting close to the end of the show. 